Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about an application um, of a quadratic function. And remember functions are models. And this is a particular model for an object that's projected directly upwards uh, from the Earth into the air. We're going to ne neglect air resistance. All right, and this is a quadratic model because it follows a parabolic path. Now, the quadratic model is actually given by s equals negative 16t squared plus v0t plus s0, where s is the height, this is the height of the object, t is the time in seconds, and the height is in feet, s0 is the initial height, all right, off the ground, and v0 is the initial velocity of the projectile. Right, now, in this example, we have a ball thrown directly upward, from an initial height of 75 feet. So this tells me here, of course, that S0 equals 75 feet. Right, with an initial velocity of 112 feet per second. So this means that V0 is equal to 112 feet per second. Notice that we have the right units. And we want to give the function that describes the height of the ball in terms of time t. So it's going to be S equals negative 16 t squared plus v0 which of course is plus 112 uh, t plus s0 which is plus 75 and so that will be our model for this particular object okay now part b asks uh, after how many seconds does the projectile reach its maximum height ah now we can use our um, quadratic work to say well the maximum height, now notice that A here, notice A is equal to negative 16 for when we look at um, our function being AX squared plus BX plus C. In this case, X is just T. A is negative 16, which is less than zero, so it's opening downwards, and so we have a maximum point, and remember that happens at the vertex. Now the vertex, of course, is given by um, t equals negative b on 2a is going to be the x value for the vertex, which in this case is the t value. And of course, this will actually negative of negative 16 over, oops, upside down, it's going to be negative b. Now, what have we got for b? b is equal to 112, so it's going to be 112 over negative 16. Now, we can cancel this down. I guess we can go by uh, fours. What will that be? That will be... Um, 228 over negative 4 and of course it's negative over negative because it's negative b uh, so this will now be equal to um, 7 over 2 all right and that'll be in terms of seconds all right so the maximum height is reached okay um after 7 on 2 seconds. Now the maximum height is actually given by the maximum height is in fact s of 7 on 2 because it's a function of t which of course is negative 16 by 7 on 2 squared uh, plus 112 by 7 on 2 plus 75 and of course this will be uh, negative 16 on 49 on 4 uh, plus uh, by, that'll be 56 by 7 plus 75 and when we work this out we can use a calculator on this it's actually um, negative uh, 4 by 49 plus 56 by 7 plus 75 and if we use a calculator on that, um, we'll end up with uh, 271 feet. So the maximum height is equal to 271 feet, and that occurs after 7.2 seconds. Right, part C. For what interval of time is the height of the ball greater than 200 feet? So we want to uh, look at when s is greater than 200. So we're looking for when negative 16 t squared plus 112 t plus 75 is greater than 200. So now this is an inequality. 
All right, so this is implying that negative 16t squared plus 112t, and we're going to subtract off uh, 200 here, so this will be a negative uh, 125, is got to be greater than zero. All right, so now we have to figure out, okay, how is that going to work? Well, we want to uh, divide through here, say, by negative 1, so 16t squared minus 112t plus 125 has got to be less than zero. All right, so that's what we're looking for. And uh, how do we now go about doing that? Well, of course, what we look for is we first of all solve for when 16t squared minus 112t plus 125 is equal to zero. Now we can use the quadratic formula for this. So it's going to be negative of 1, 1, 2, which is negative b, plus or minus the square root of negative 1, 1, 2 squared minus 4ac. And you're going to need your calculator for this over uh, 2 times a. And so we end up with this. And uh, what we're going to get here is um, when you do your calculation, uh, negative 112, that becomes positive 112. Uh, plus or minus uh, 100, negative 112 squared um, minus 64 by 125 because 4 16 to 64 all over um, 32 and when you get that you're going to get um, 1.39 and um, uh, 5 0.61 seconds. Right, now when you do a, a, a number line of this, right, of course we can't have less than zero, so we have 1.39, uh, 5.61, and we've got to look at see, okay, when is this going to be, um, when is this going to be true here? And you find that, of course, it's uh, in here, so in other words, it's above 200 feet between 1.39 seconds and 5.61 seconds. All right, part D. All right, we're asked, asked here, after how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Right, hits the ground when S is equal to zero. So this is going to be when negative 16t squared plus 112t plus 75 equals 0. Or this is going to be when 16t squared minus 112t minus 75 is equal to 0. Now, of course, again, once more, we're going to have to do um, the quadratic formula. t is going to be, again, negative 112 plus or minus um, the square root of 1, 1, 2 squared minus 4 times A times C all over um, 2 times 16 again. And this comes out to be 112 plus or minus the square root of negative 112 squared uh, minus 64 by 75 now all over 32 right and one of these comes out to be negative and of course we can't have t as being negative all right and so consequently uh, we have to take the positive one and the positive one comes out to be when we put this in a calculator 6.2 seconds. So after 7.62 seconds, it, it hits the ground again. So in other words, if you do a little picture of this, it's above 75, it's parabolic, and bang, down it comes. Hits the ground here after 7.62 seconds. Right, be very careful. Remember, we get two answers here. One will be negative. We discard the negative one because we can't have negative time. All right, and so we only take the positive one, and that will give us the result.